going, Sim fans? Welcome to the premiere episode of the Sims 2 podcast. I'm your host, Dan- Dano. That's right, I'm Dano. <laughs> and we're going to place the plumb bob over the heads of one of the movers and shakers in the world of the Sims and have them answer questions from you, the community. This week's guest is senior producer Tim Letourneau, who is here to talk to us about the Sims 2 EP Nightlife, which is on store shelves right now. Let's get started with a general question to Tim and ask him, just what is nightlife? Can you tell us? Just give us an overview. I'm sorry. What is this? Oh, yeah, the podcast. Um, Okay. The Sims 2 Nightlife is uh, the latest expansion pack for The Sims 2. And the the focus of this one is about getting your Sims out of the house. So you get to take them out on the town. They can go out dancing. They can go bowling, go out to dinner. And the coolest thing is they can even take their own cars there. So... You can drive your own car, go downtown, hang out, go on a date, go out with some friends. It's all about The Sims having fun and getting out of the house. And partying. And partying. All right on. Okay. We got, uh, let's start with a couple questions here. Uh, DCasio52 asks, how exactly does the whole living downtown thing work? Well, living downtown is, the downtown is a new neighborhood. So you're going to have places to go there, like, dance clubs and bowling alleys and stuff like that but you can also just place a house there as well so you move your sims in downtown and instead of seeing uh seeing neighbors uh like you do say in pleasant view or something like that you're gonna see the nightclub across the street sounds like a convenient living for the yeah uh... it's actually i've uh as i've been playing i've been moving my sims in downtown because i i just like the feeling of them living in the urban environment right on Okay. Uh, KK Bean 042094 asks, how does the dating game actually work? Well, we, uh, we actually got Jim Lang to come in and host. No, actually. <laughs> it's probably oh, the dating game. The dating game. It's, it's a TV show. Some of you may not remember it because I'm old and I remember these things that not everybody else does. But uh, the way that the dating game works is you'll be able to ask other Sims out on a date once you've gotten your relationship to a high enough level. And then once you're out on a date, you get a, another plumb bob over the head of your date so you know who your date is. And you get a whole new UI which measures how well the date is going. As far as how you measure the date, it's, it's based on the wants, and wants that you fulfill both for your sim and for your date, as well as the mood and the, the different social interactions and object interactions that you do while you're on the date. I wish I had a date meter for my dates. They don't, they don't do go. You think they'd, do you think they'd be good? I don't, I don't think they'd be very good. I would, you know, then I'd at least know, you know, what the heck's going on on my dates. But you, can, can you make one for me? When Tim? she's like frowning and looking at you funny, you can't tell that it's not going well. Or? I thought she was constipated. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry. It's been downhill ever since. All right, let's move on to the next question. Uh, Katax3 asks What aspects of nightlife do you feel add to the game's realism? And on the contrary, what aspects of nightlife make it more imaginative? I've heard this name before, Katax3. Oh, that's right. We asked, oh, Katax got two questions. They were good questions. They, were, they are good questions. Maybe she can hold a little writing workshop in the uh, BBS to okay, help okay. users. So let me All talk right. to Katax. Oh, let me talk All to right, everybody. Katax. I guess because this is going out to everybody, right? Right. Yeah. Um, so what aspects of nightlife do you feel um, add to the game's realism? Well, I think that the whole idea of attraction and dating and, and that feeling of, you know, um, I really want that feeling of love at first sight, like two, two sims that are really, really attracted to one another and the player can feel that. Um, I, I think that adds a lot of realism. I think that that's how a lot of us imagine, you know, or have experienced meeting the person of our dreams, etc. So to me, that's, I think, one of the things that adds the most realism. I, I also think that um, a lot of the dining stuff, like just seeing the Sims go sit down together and eat dinner and that, you know, they can do stuff while they're sitting together, um, that feels feels like it adds a lot as well. And then probably the thing to me that makes the most difference in just the Sims game in kind of co- completing the domestic life of the Sims is the fact that they have cars. Um, there's something There's something really, really fulfilling when you see your sim hop in a, in a car and back out of the driveway and drive off the lot and it's it's nothing more than that it's really just it's like oh yeah this makes total sense it's like well my house i build my house and um and i have a car but i can't put my car in the lot so uh, to me 
those just complete this sort of domestic picture of the home life of the Sims. It, it, they really feel like a missing missing element that it's so great to finally have them there. Um, and then, you know, imaginative. I, I think the vampires and, and all of the stuff that go along with them are really, really funny. And it, it's the quirky side of our, our game design. I think that... I think there's some of the stuff, um, karaoke, for example, um, is when you see the kids singing karaoke, <laughs> uh, you can't help but laugh. You, you just can't. You can't help but laugh. Um, the smuscle dance is equally funny, um, especially when you get a whole group of Sims doing the smuscle together. So um, I think there's always, in everything that we do, there's little pieces of creativity and ima imagination because I think that the Sims is developed um, – by everybody on the team so everybody contributes to what it is everybody's got a little bit of themselves that they put into the game and so you know I, the team itself i work with a lot of really creative funny quirky individuals and it's cool to see little pieces of each and every one of them in, in what we make and it's in every object and every social interaction and uh like i said you know the smuscle itself if you see the the reference video for the smuscle the the animators doing this just outrageous dance it's it's amazing to then see it on the screen uh next question emma three amy asks how many new interactions are there oh man i don't have that 18. number 18.473 yeah, there's there's actually 437,000 interactions no i don't know i don't know what the exact number is there's over 125 new objects there's a bunch of new socials uh, related to dating and, and dining. Um, some of the cool ones are you can actually steal a bite of food off your date's plate. Uh, slow dance is, is one of my favorite new socials. Um, and when you're slow dancing, there's new nested interactions in there, like you can put your head on your shoulder's date or Cute. Um, you know, go in for a kiss. There's, there's some good stuff. Uh, okay, next question, Tim. Arndut Cass. I don't know how you pronounce his name. It asks, is there any, is there a limit on how many Sims you can take out on a night out? Uh, there is. The limit is is eight eight Sims on an outing. So kind of like the household limit, you can take eight Sims out. Uh, you could then meet other Sims that you know at the location you go to, but you can take eight Sims at a time for group outings. I guess that answers that. Okay, uh, Miko two eight nine two three five asks. Does the sim performance on the electro dance thingy depend on their body skill? Also, can we kill Mrs. Crumplebottom? Uh, so the, the electro dance sphere, yeah, is based on body. Uh, there's something pretty cool. If you've got high body skill, uh, there's, there's a little Easter egg that I'm anxious for you guys to find on the electro dance sphere. And, of course, if your body skill is low, you might end up dumping out of it, which is a really bad date event. So I wouldn't recommend getting on it unless, unless your body skill is high, if you're on a date, that is. What's up with Miss Crumplebottom? Uh, can you ki would do you want to kill Mrs. Crumplebottom? I uh, I, I would feel bad if you killed Mrs. Crumplebottom. She's kind of she's kind of a timeless member of the Sims world. Uh, no, you can't kill her. You can bowl with her. Uh, Is she any good? She's she's a pretty good bowler. She's she's actually pretty good at <laughs> poker too. She probably steal some of your money. Um, I don't know if you can kill her. I haven't tried to kill her, but uh, you can certainly give it a try once you got the game. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Katax three asks. I read somewhere that Max's employees act out the interactions between Sims to see what they should look like. In that case, I'm sure you had some fun with Goose, huh? My question here is, is this true? And if so, what interactions were the most fun to play out? No wonder you guys have a private office. I didn't even hear about this. Can you, all right, let's tell us what's up. What? Do you guys, do you really act out the interactions ahead of time? I, I do them all. You do them all? Me. No, actually we do. <laughs> the animators do all, they do act out most of the social interactions. Uh, there's a movie that I want to try and get released for you guys, which is the animation team. Uh, acting out the smuscle, it's easily one of the funniest videos I've ever seen that we've done for reference. Okay. All right. I'm looking forward to putting that up on so the yeah, website. So, yeah, that is actually true. Oh, okay. All right. I'll have to stick around I later. I don't remember the goose interaction, though. I didn't, right. I, well, no one goosed me, so. Yeah, all right. Um, I'll have to stick around later at night to see uh, you guys try that stuff. Yeah, I, they do it mostly behind closed doors. Yeah, okay. all right. Animators are... <laughs> 
<laughs> they're they're a whole different breed of people. They're definitely weird. All right, let's. Uh, Gucci Sims asks. Uh, we've got some questions about vampires coming up. You ready for those? I am. All right. All right. Let's see. Uh, the photo booth does not show vampires in pictures. Will the artist career reward show vampires? And I think he's uh, talking about the antique camera. It shouldn't, but I'm not positive. Mm. Yeah, vampires are tricky. They are. And that low-tech stuff, the old stuff, has a tendency to work on them, and the new-tech stuff is not. Yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Uh, maybe he can post a solution on the BBS. Yeah, I'm not positive. I could okay. probably find out, too. All right, let's get to the next question. Is uh, Junior Dragster one asks, what's the easiest way to find a vampire? Once you find it, does it immediately hypnotize you, or can you escape? Can you give us more info on the new cheats that are available? Thanks, smiley face. Thanks. I like the smiley face. I do, too. It adds a touch of personality to the question. You know, it shows that they're... Junior, junior, yeah. junior Dragster 1. The easiest way to find a vampire is actually go to any of the downtown lots at night. That's where they show up. And once you meet them, um, you can start to build up a relationship with them. You're not going to get hypnotized or bit unless you've got a high relationship with a vampire. So if you want to avoid them and not have to worry about your sims getting bitten... Just avoid getting too uh, too friendly with the vampires. The freaks come out at night, huh? Essentially, although I, you know, the vampires are way cool. I, I they're a lot of fun. I don't think they're that freaky. They love to party. They love to party. They're good dancers too. <laughs> they like the disco. They do like the disco. <laughs> I had a whole vampire like smussel party. It was kind of uh, it was kind of fun. Sounds good. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, and uh, I don't have. I'm not giving out any cheats yet, but there will be some new ones. Okay, there you go, Junior Dragster one. Hope you, that answers uh, things for you. Uh, Kitty O nine B asks, "I heard vampires can sleep in coffin things, but can they sleep in normal beds too? Could vampires have kids?" So vampires can sleep in normal beds, um, although the benefit of sleeping in a coffin is during the day it'll block out the sunlight and 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 basically preserve their motives. Um, vampires can have kids but vampirism is not a genetic trait so it doesn't pass along uh, so they can have kids but they the can kids have kids the kids the ca kids aren't vampires all right c cook 1200 asks as miss as mrs crumplebottom a vampire and can we feed her to the cow plants so uh, <laughs> i'm sure there are some that think miss crumplebottom is a vampire she is kind of an old bat, but <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I haven't tried feeding her to the cow plant. I imagine if you could get her, let's see, could you get her if you can figure out how to get her over to your house and you got a hungry cow plant and she's hungry? Um, I guess it's possible. Oh, there we go. All right, see, cook. Sounds like you got a challenge ahead of you. All right, we have some questions about building and creating. Tim, ready to put your hard hat on? Definitely. Okay. Sim Fantastic 2 asks, if you have a garage, will you be able to put the garage doors on a foundation, or do you need it on a floor? Uh, unfortunately, you have to put it on a floor. Um, we don't have, uh, we don't have uh, the ability to put a driveway onto a foundation, so it's got to be on the ground floor. Well, that's some easier building code. So. We don't want any terrible accidents, no. you know. So. No, it's sturdier. All right. The next question is from Tiny's Girl 1134 and she asks, is there going to be a way that we can make multiple chapters of a story without having to go to a different lot for each chapter? Not in Nightlife, although that's, a, that's an interesting thing to, to request. I hadn't really realized that that was a problem that people were having, which is they want to have one continuing story with multiple, multiple families. Uh, some we could certainly look at. Okay, uh, Weezer Bunny asks, with all the new lot sizes in Nightlife, Will we be able to put them closer together? I would like the downtown area to look crowded and busy like in real life, and the best way to do that is to put a variety of different lots closer together. You can definitely puzzle piece them together um, in, a, you know, in a neighborhood. A lot of the limitation is just having flat ground. Like the downtown that we're using, um, the, downtown, the downtown neighborhood that we provide in the game, um, is all on flat ground, so you can definitely squeeze a lot of lots into the different the different blocks. We've also added some new lot sizes, so you can do street fronts and things like that. Yeah, right on. So you can make a whole uh, jumble of uh, different yeah. lot sizes. Excellent. 
Okay, uh, Iceman Haran 101 asks, those half walls you guys are adding, will we be able to add doors or anything to them? Will they? Will the top act as a shelf? Uh, that's a good question, Iceman. You can't actually put doors on on the half walls, and no, it doesn't act like a shelf. So it's just like a regular wall. Some of them are just it's just a half, and then others have railing and things that will go up to the ceiling. So there's a and glass. There's a variety of different ones. Okay, uh, let's talk about cars for a minute, Tim. Cars? Yeah, or uh, at least transportation. Cars are cool. I like cars. Uh, Susie One Woozy One asks. If we use cars rather than a carpool, will the reminder pop up when we need to go so that we don't miss work? Uh, yeah, it does say um, you know, that you need to go to work in an hour. Um, the really cool thing, though, and this is why for me cars have become one of the initial purchases on any new house or any new family that I create, uh, the, you get an extra hour. So like, if your work starts at 10, as long as you get in the car and take off for work by 11, you get credited for a full day. So they're a huge time saver. Right on. My sim always has to go to the bathroom just before they go to work. And then it's like I either go to the bathroom and miss work or don't get promoted. That kind of sounds like a personal problem, Dano. Did I say my sims? Because this is happening at work yeah, these yeah, yeah, <laughs> recently. This came up on my last review, sure actually. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can talk about that after hours, Tim. <laughs> Okay, the next question about cars is from Dragons931. Uh, I don't really understand the process of cars. Um, all right. Uh, do we have an uh, option to use them, or can uh, you just use a carpool? So here's how the cars work. Once you buy a car and you put it on the lot, you can make any sim in your family the owner of the car. If the sim, if, once you make a sim an owner of the car, they'll use it for their carpool. If, if you have a car in the lot and no one's the owner, then the carpool will just come for each of the sims that has a job. If you have more than one sim that has a job um, and the carpool would come at a different time, then the sim who owns the car will use the car and the other sim will use the carpool when it arrives. All right. So you get everybody gets to work. Yeah. So one person has to go out earlier. Yes. Yeah, okay, okay. But, but if you have two sims that go to work at the same time, they, they'll use the car to go. Together. Oh yeah, yeah. So you can oh, so they can carpool together. Yeah, and you can have multiple cars too. So you could buy like you can buy a car for every member of your family, and then you just set them as owners, and then that's what they'll use to go off to work. Have you thought about buying a car for every member in your family, Tim? Uh, well, <laughs> none of my kids are old enough to drive yet, so. But it's something to think about. It is something to think about. I think the answer is no. <laughs> I'm not buying well, them. I'm a little frightened about having six cars in my driveway. I, yeah, you're going to need a much bigger driveway. Are there more questions? Uh, I think that's it for the questions. Why don't you uh, give us some of your final thoughts on nightlife, like maybe a highlight from production or your favorite part of the game or your favorite recent memory of doing an interview with Dano? I don't know. Any, any of those things are open for you to talk about. I'm, I'm going to remember your constipated date for a while, I'm afraid. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure that I really wanted to share that memory with the community, but now that it's stuck in my head, thanks to this, this great opportunity to talk to you, um, that, that's one that, that I'm going to remember. Um, I, think, I think of all the things in, uh, in making Nightlife, the, the moment that probably is the funniest to me is I ended up having a, a vampire wedding and I had the wedding night woohoo with, with my. I, it was it was actually really fun. I you know. I I, I didn't. It's sort of weird. I mean, right. it was they were they were very chaste. They didn't you know they right. didn't have woohoo until they got married. Right, right. Because it was he was a family sim, mm -hmm. um, and it was really funny because we have this new system in the game, which is the attraction system, and. Uh, the attraction system says which sims are most attractive to your sim. And it just happened that, you know, my sim, uh, his name was Byron, was really attracted to this vampire. And so I, I hadn't planned it that way, but that was, you know, that was what he wanted. And so I was dating her and we were going out and things were going really well. And then I got him engaged, and as soon as I got him engaged, she bit him. And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, great. Now I'm going to have to have a vampire wedding. So I had a vampire wedding, and then they had their wedding night. Does they have to have the wedding at night? Well, 
you have to play the vampire like you don't want to have the vampires out in the sun because right. they get yeah. they smoke and oh. <laughs> they smoke they'll, they smoke and they'll turn to <laughs> dust. You really it's they're hard. You really got to play. Right. But at, at night it's cool because they don't their their motives don't go down. So okay. you just want to focus on you know keeping them out of the sun during the day. So yeah, I had it was a nighttime wedding and yeah. then <laughs> then they had their wedding night in a regular bed. All right, uh, okay. it was it was a pretty it was a big moment. All right. Well, thanks a lot for your time, Tim. Uh, That's it, and that's all, kids. Until the next podcast, we'll see you later. Bye.